hello so welcome back to this channel in our last video we are able to go over how to retrieve data from cloud firestore which is exactly what we see here but in this video we want to explore how to add snapshot listener so that when we add a new data it will automatically update on our recycle view or whichever view that we are using in our app so we all know how important having snapshot listeners are in building reactive and modern applications it is very very useful so firestore also made it very easy for us and we're gonna go over how to do that just in a bit so without wasting much time let's just go right into it now as you can see at this particular point we are fetching our data we are just executing a query all right to get all the users in our users collections if we want to keep on you know getting new users or notifying our app whenever a new user was added Instead of just keeping it like this, we're going to say, instead of we using the fetch data, I'm going to create a new method. I'm going to call it fetch and listing. Okay. So when we fetch our data, we're still going to go ahead and listen for snapshot changes. So I'm going to say snapshot listener. So this will take an instance of I event listener. So I'm going to go ahead and say this. And we are going to implement the interface in our activity but also i want to mention that when we have this kind of code it means that we are listening to every single change on the user's collection so if i go here if i come here and add a new field it will also notify me that there has been a new change in our data so using this particular method to listen to overall changes on our user's collection could you know be a little bit expensive that is if you're dealing with an app that have over thousands of users right so it means that you can also go ahead and listing for only changes happening in each of the documents so to do that you can actually go ahead and say database dot collection dot users dot document say for instance i'm just going to use a hypothetical id you can also go ahead and add the snapshot listener to this to this particular statement but what this means is that you need to know the id of the user that you're listening to using firebase authentication can actually help you to know the id of the users that is logged in but all i'm trying to explain is how you can actually make use of snapshots effectively on firebase firestore but while we've successfully explained that i'm just going to go ahead and leave the listener to the user's collection so let's go to the top of our activity and implement i event listener interface i event listener so we're going to go ahead and implement this interface okay so we needed to go ahead and make it explicit so let's go ahead and implement the interface so this is where we have that it went ahead and returned a value for us so this value will contain all our document snapshots so we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing we did in the unsuccess method so we're going to go ahead and copy all of this and we're going to paste it here so instead of having results we're going to change this to value and so this will go ahead and retrieve all the items we have in our snapshots and it's going to add it to list of users but the next thing we need to do will be to ensure that our recycler view is always updating whenever we add a new item. I'm going to go ahead and say if data adapter is not equal to null. So we're going to go ahead and say data adapter dot notify data set changed. Boom. So this will ensure that whenever we add new users, it will go ahead and reload our recycler view. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and instead of calling fetch data we're going to go ahead and call fetch and listen so i'll go to my uncreate method and call fetch and listen fetch and listen right so let's go ahead and run our app and see how this performs boom so as you can see the first instances we are well retrieved we're going to go ahead and add new users to our database our user's full name is going to be sly baba so we're going to have sly at gmail.com so sly is the name of my colleague so he's actually laughing in the background so i'm going to go ahead and add his phone number 
and the age so let's go ahead and click on save so our recycler view has been updated and notice that as you can see we now have Sly Baba in our list so I can go ahead and add another one so let's click on save So as you can see, Great LX is now in a recycler view automatically. So guys, I really want to mention one difference that Cloud Firestore has with real-time database. So auto ID doesn't actually mean that you will have your document organized in a chronological order. It doesn't flow that way, right? So as you can see, I added Nasip and just now I just added Great LX. In real-time database, auto ID helps you to arrange your data in a chronological order. But Firestore doesn't do that. I don't know why they had to do it this way, but I'm sure they have a very good reason for that. But this will be all for now. I know you really learned something. If you really like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, do well to do that. In our next video, we are going to be looking at how to update and delete data from our Cloud Firestore. So guys, see you in the next video.